Yo, I want to know what it takes to get flu out or what are the requirements for some people to even be flu out. Because, man, when I be hearing about these stories, I just be just like, God dang. What's up, blessed ones? You are now blaring the podcast. Brought to you by AB1 Studios. Thank you for your time. Listeners. You want to know something else? Bless ones. like this before like I have no problem with long distance relationships and you know living your best life but I just be it's almost kind of like people setting themselves up for it because for one there was this woman who flew out a rapper and then she stole his uh he stole her Rolex and stuff and then you got this gentleman he's going overseas trying to find his wife because of American women or the black women. He's just like, they're, they're, it's just all over the place because don't get me wrong. I didn't traveled to see someone. And when I was young, maybe I would have a little bit of higher expectations. And it's almost like now, even now, when you're older, when you're getting a little money, when you're a little bit more knowledgeable, you're not going to be spending the bag on, someone and not getting the getting the getting you know what i'm saying i mean hey let's keep i'm gonna keep it pg tonight okay it's just the night before sunday so god please forgive me but i um you know i want to know exactly what it takes to get flu out why do you fly people out and would you let someone fly you out? Because I'm going to keep it all the way 100, right? I'm not talking about myself, but in today's society, whether it's right or not, whether it's morally right, whether it just makes sense, men who fly women out across the globe, you can be in the States and you can fly them Tokyo. You can like, no matter what, like men can fly you from, from freaking VA to Cali or VA to Texas or VA to freaking even freaking New York or something. If they spending a bag on you, the expectation is sex. That's expectation because you got to remember, like, you're not committed to each other. So if someone's going to, man or woman, if if someone's going to, you know, fly you out or even send you somewhere, they're going to want something in return. That's just the reality of things. Now, I, me personally... I feel as though, like, if this is someone who I'm interested in and I'm trying to get to know or someone that I'm, I'm, that I like, yeah, I will, I will take the time to travel for them. Like, if it, they say it ain't tricking if you got, like, if I got the time, if I got the money, the finances, I'll probably take a uh, book a flight 
and try to, you know, hey, spend some time with this person and really just see what's going on. But, like I said again, this doesn't apply. I'm a little bit different. I see things differently. Like I said, because when I was younger, like I said, I, I was, I, I drew, I drew like an hour and a half to see a girl and look, I wasn't expecting the sex or anything. I just thought I would at least got some type of kiss or something. You know, like I said, this was like, I was in my early twenties. Like I said, I was running, I ain't never really traveled, uh, that far to see nobody like that before. Like I said, this is back when, you know, my space and all that stuff was still hot. You know what I'm saying? But I'll, I'll, I'll be, be transparent. Okay. I traveled for people that I was involved with or into. No expectations on that at all. Because I felt like me taking the time to spend with someone was the benefit for that was really just getting to let them know or to give them some some clarity and give them some comfort that hey this is how serious I am about it okay maybe when I was younger it was a little bit different but now like at my 30s it's like I if I'm flying you out I will want you to enjoy me I will want to enjoy you and like I said it doesn't always have to be sexual but again this is this is the society that we live in this is the society that we live in so i'm asking everyone listening if you're if you don't know this person if you ain't really been talking to this person or whatnot and maybe you is probably talking to this person but if you fly somebody out i want to know like why why can't you just enjoy this person's company because here's the thing like if you dumb enough to spend money on someone without actually guaranteeing that you're going to get what you're expecting if you're if you're dumb enough because i'm because the reason why i say i'm dumb enough because i feel like Hey, if you, if you doing all that, man, like, if you gonna be sitting here spending money on a woman to come out or vice versa, it's like, why, why, like, why, you might as well just go ahead and get with someone there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like, somebody, like, there's, it's just something about, like, I don't wanna say this the wrong way. But I only can really speak on my culture, the black community. Like, people are so in love with foreign. You know, you got designers, got bags, got cars, foreign cars, foreign women, foreign clothing, and it's just like foreign food, and it's just like, what is the infatuation? What is the infatuation with it? Because we still have, we still have people out here, you know, that can, that can hardly even get a whole outfit for themselves, let alone the children. But it's like, what is the infatuation with it? Like, cause at the end of the day, it's, it's still kind of like, okay, it's exclusivity, but imagine if everybody had design. Because all the rich folk, all the rich people, they, they got, they wearing the designer, but, they you you ain't gonna know like most rich people that I at least that I've encountered they don't wear their money, but it's almost like Chris Rock had talked about it in the um and a joke before he talked about how like you know hey us black people man like we when we hit a meal we invest in well we invest in cars jewelry and then wonder why we broke the next year so it's just it's just one of these things that like I like to always you know challenge others because ain't nothing wrong with foreign things and having the finer things in life ain't nothing wrong with it but i think when we live beyond our means meaning that okay you're 
trying to you're really trying to impress a group of people who you know have the time will probably hate on you who will probably rob you because ain't nobody really like people will admire and respect what other people have but there's also that other side the other group of people who will hate and take away but it's almost like one thing is it's very important to me to instill in my son is like just remember you're the value you know i understand society is going to be society and people are going to try to define you by you know what you have physically but you got to remember like you look at people and think that they're the the richest the smartest and here they open their mouth because here's the thing we're not going to be in people's pockets. We're not going to be in people's business. So people are going to do what they want. But just remember that closed mouths don't get fed. I mean, again, it's not my it's not my job to be sitting here interrogating anyone. Be like, hey, yo, why you why you flying this girl out or why you wearing this um wearing this expensive jewelry, you know, it's not, it's not really like my job. No, it's not my business. You like what you like. My whole thing is, you know, what else do, what else do you have? I don't expect me to maybe understand it. I just need to get some understanding and clarity of it. Because when I see, like, when I, like, I have family who, who's like that. I have friends who are like that. You know, they, you know, they have a different type of, different type of way of thinking than I do. And I know there's people out here that do kind of do things for clout and do things for attention, do things for value because it's like, well, you know, like I said, once again, to me, and everybody can can hate me for this, but high value men, high value women have high value mind, have a high value heart. Now, maybe you have to look the part to manifest because I have my fair share of, you know, expensive clothes and not designer, but I have my fair share. But, once again, I'm not losing sleep over what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I'm not going to sit here and use up my my rent money or my my son's schooling or anything so I can look good because here's the thing I work so much sometimes that I don't even like hey I don't even like put on clothes like I get home shower and then you know, I'm off to, you know, I'm off to bed, you know, that it becomes routine. I like looking good. I might hit the store sometimes. I mean, I shop at Walmart. I shop at Target for clothes. I shop at, you know, a lot of the urban stores. I shop at, you know, some, you know, department stores, you know, I might, 
have on, you know, something smooth and casual. Occasionally. But I just, it's just something that I'm curious about. So anybody who, who's in that, that realm of high-end fashion and like, kind of like spinning a bag on, on someone to fly them out. They're in the same, they're in this kind of like in the same realm to me. That's why I mentioned it. Because I think, I think about, I think about people who are actually getting killed over certain decisions, over personal decisions. No one should have to, you know, be afraid to go out the house because people are getting robbed and murdered. But what I'm saying is like, just think about people will actually kill you for the littlest thing. It's like, okay. To me, is this worth your life? Going back again to flying a woman out. You can, you can like the woman and you can fly out so you can have a good time. My whole thing is you can't get mad at someone because they don't want to give up the box. That's my thing. You can expect things, but I think things don't always go as expected. I think there needs to be a conversation. Like, that's the thing with adults now is like, we just think things are happening, but there's no conversation. Like, I'll use this as an example since a lot of people like to get in, like the, you know, focus on celebrity. You know, people talk about how Diddy had got young Miami out here looking dumb. You know, she, he didn't have a baby and, you know, they was doing this and that and whatever reason, you know, but what up, whatever their relationship is, their relationship, you know, we sit here and we, we're, you know, we're so self-centered that we think that when we see, if we hear a celebrity, right, like Young Miami just dropped the, just dropped uh, um, the interview with Trina and they was talking about golden showers which is you know P and um and it's and it's just funny and I know there's jokes and like again P Diddy but it's like man you know y'all y'all be really out here thinking that just because you see some like the most like people think the most recent couple that are together they're doing these things we don't know if Diddy is the one that's that been peeing on your Miami or not. That to me, that's kind of wild. That's crazy anyway to pee on somebody and then you know y'all giving R. Kelly some some crap and mess. But it's just certain things that I feel is like I right, they put it out there. It's out here. Y'all going you know you gonna put it out here. You gonna go out here and brag about being flew out, you're going to brag about spending a bag and flying people out, you want to show off what you got, you want to show off your money, you want to wear your money, you want to kind of be like, okay, I'm proud of this, I'm happy, that's good, you want to motivate people, because to me, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, there's, going to be, there's, some, there's some things that's going to motivate us, but I do feel like in, in social media, when you're showing off money, showing off, you know, your cars and things, and it's like, you can use it for motivation, but it's like, what is, I don't really think it's good motivation unless you're showing someone how to get it. And that's just pretty much just me. Like, if you can't show me how to get this nice whip, if you can't show me how to get this fine woman, if you can't show me how to get this nice bling watch, 
chain, kicks, whatever. If you can't show me, telling me ain't really going to help. But that's pretty much the go-to. People say, you know, I use this for motivation. Nah, I mean, hey, you, you, everybody can, you know, show off and thank God they're in their own way. But I just want y'all to be mindful is that certain things that people put up, there's going to be the good and the bad. And we choose to, you know, we choose what we want to focus on. But, you know, that's all. Like, that's all I wanted to, you know, discuss. It was just something that was on my mind because, you know, with it being Black History Month, I would think that we as a culture, we as a people within the black community, we would be proud of our accomplishments and sometimes being proud and standing tall and representing ourselves being unapology ourselves is sometimes having some restraint. But again, to each song, everybody stay safe, stay proud, productive, and positive. This is Blair Kent, Care Bear. I'm out.